Hello, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. In the last episode, we have arrived at Freeside. We've met the Kings and working for Van Graffs. And now we're going to find this woman called Rose of Sharon Cassidy. I believe, yeah. Oh, let's get into it. Oh, yeah, and also we're debt collectors as well. So, let's go do that as well. Hello. Hello. Need some grub? I got you covered. Cheap and filling. What are you serving? Typically, I find it goes down better if I leave people guessing. So what do you say? Want some? Not until you tell me where you get the food from. I have my little helpers out and about, always looking for fresh things to add to the stew pot. You may have seen them around somewhere yourself. Now deny your hunger no longer. Uh, not right now, thanks. You'll be back. Evening. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. Here's a north gate. Hello, guys. Crimson Caravan. Here it is. Wanted to see Ringo again. I really have more important things to do. Sorry. So do I. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Show me what you have for sale. Can do. Can you answer some questions for me? Maybe. What do you want to know? Where does the Crimson Caravan Company get its merchandise? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. Do your caravans ever have trouble from bandits? Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. Where are you from? A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. That's all. Let's talk about something else. Need anything else? Nope. See ya. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Hey, Ringo. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. What are the rules of Caravan? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Yeah, alright. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player.
elk load of labor. Hello. So you're Alice. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? I'm looking for work. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. I'll take it. What do you need to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. I'm looking for Cass. The Van Graffs told me to check in with you. Coincidentally, I'm also looking for her. I've got a business offer she'd be interested in. I believe Cass frequents the Mojave Outpost, far south of here, near the California border. I'd know more about the Crimson Caravan Company. Certainly. What would you like to know? How long have you been in business? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Does the Crimson Caravan have any competition? Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market. And the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. You're well dressed for this place. Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the New Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. I don't have any more questions. Let's talk about something else. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. It's been a pleasure. Oh, it's you. Need anything? Who did you say I should ask about work? Like I said, talk to Alice McLafferty. She's in charge here. Goodbye. At the base track. See what's in here. Some nuts too.
All I want is 2,000 bottle caps so I could go into that place. That's all I want. This is it. Hello, good sir. Coming from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. What is this place? Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while, waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Any work around you? Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks. Someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful you go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. If your gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight, he can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. What are those statues of? Those two? Represents unification. Mostly good for shade. Won't do much else when the Legion reaches us. I'll be going, huh? Watch yourself. I'm not sure you should be here. Well, I am. Hello? New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Any work on you? Work around here? Might check with Jackson in the main building, or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. Don't tell her I said that, though. Might take a bullet some night when I'm going to the latrine. Anything to tell me about the outpost? Not too much. A lot of caravans going nowhere. A lot of troopers going nowhere, too. A few prospectors here and there, but they don't do more than stink up the place. Everybody's backed up here. You'd think it'd be good for business, but most of the traders are tight with the caps, even the larger caravan outfits. Oh. Looking for trouble? Wanted to ask you some questions about the outpost. Got no time or answers for you. Ask a drifter in need of a few caps. They'll give you all the answers you need. Suppose you can see me from that deep in a bottle. Deep? Ain't deep by half. Closed down the bar yesterday, gonna close it again today. Rinse and repeat. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Back west? Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm not from around here, and I'm not NCR. I run a caravan. Or did. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. Might have been fiends. They're crazy like that. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in? Out and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Who's Jackson? NCR officer, trooper, whatever. Runs the place. He's over in the main building, the one without a bar. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan Branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. 
I want you to ask you something else. What's on your mind? Oh, yeah. Jean Baptiste in Freeside wanted to meet with you. Jean Baptiste? Sounds like someone got knocked out of the good book so hard his name broke. Either that, or it's Canadarian or some such shit. So who is this Baptiste, and what does he want? He's with the Van Graffs. The only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Well, except for Gloria Van Graff, and I don't know her all that well. Nor do I want to. Don't have any objections speaking with him. Though if he's with the Van Graffs... He should know I'm not looking to buy weapons. Never mind. I'll be going. You take care now. You come around like a bad ha Interested in, uh, following me to Freeside? Not leaving here until my caravan vapor's clear. Or my title goes away. If you were looking for someone to caravan with, i try the Crimson Caravan up north. They pretty much run the roads now. Right. You take care now. Hello? A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. What is this place? This? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. The smell puts people off, I think. Nobody ever said science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. Need help of anything? You mean give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. Hello. Hey. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Depends. How much are you paying? <laughs> A mercenary, is that it? You won't be disappointed, I promise you. The Office of Science and Industry provides highly competitive benefits. And as an external contractor, your pay would be rather more competitive than those of our regular employees. But we should keep that to ourselves, don't you think? So, how about I tell you what we need, and then you can tell me whether you're up to it. No pressure, of course. I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Let's get to the point. Fair enough. My point is this. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. I'll think about it. Very well. I hope you'll consider this an open offer from the OSI. Now, I'm sure your time is valuable, so unless there was anything else... Ashley has some other questions. Oh? What might those be? Um... Tell me more about the OSI. The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expansive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters, medicine, engineering, biology. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. You said you were a director of OSI. Director of the entire OSI? Me? 
If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> no, I direct our Eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. Goodbye. We spoke earlier, didn't we? About Vault 22? About a second ago, yeah. My offer still stands, if you've changed... Actually, I have an in invoice for you from Alice Mc... Laff... McLafferty. From if Alice. only I could speak. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Goodbye. Yes. Something I can do for you? Hello. I'm usually good with faces. But I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? No, goodbye. Bye. Let me just get on with it. Water caps, I'll take them. We won't go quiet. The Legion can count on that. Little Buster. What are you punching? Ow! Lay off this time. Lucky I'm in a good mood. I'll turn you in little buster into little busted. Hey. Hello. Back. I'm glad Ringo's back. Got a good story to tell too. McLaughlin's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Hello. Welcome back. I delivered the invoice just as you asked. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? What other work do you have available? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Well. Fun. See what I can do. Thank you. Was there something else? Goodbye. It's been a pleasure. Hey.
let's go back to Cassidy. Oh, Cass. I haven't even pulled the trigger yet. Getting a bit an itchy finger. Hello. You come around like a bad habit. Crimson Caravan sent me. They want you to buy up your caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. You haven't seen the offer yet. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. I have the offer letter here. The terms are fair. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros. And I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. You sure? Look, I know you came all this way. And that takes some drive. Especially yes. these days. Just doesn't feel right. Trading history for a slip of paper. Uh, never mind, I'll be going. You take care now. Let's do that one then. Oh, we're back up there again. Been back and forth. Finish the fight. I'm out of here. Well, anyways, 
nice bit of action for this episode. What the fuck is that? Hi, how are you today? I'm good. Giant rat. Come to Mick and Ralph's for Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the tables more friendly. So you're Henry Jameson. Can I speak to you? Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. Just go here. I'm here to talk about ending your employment with their Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? Maybe we can make a deal. What do you want from Crimson Caravan in exchange for quitting? I want my debt with the Omertas paid off. And I want one of those severance package things. A yeah, big one. Fine. I'll let McLaff... McLafferty know we struck a deal. You do that. And tell the old bitch to pay up quick, you hear? to come here. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Welcome back. The Crimson Caravan Company no longer has to worry about Henry Jameson. Yes, but at significant cost. I understand you not only agreed that the company pay off his gambling debts, but he also gets severance. I'm disappointed with this outcome, but what's done is done. At least we're rid of Henry. To be fair, I don't give a shit. Bye. It's been a pleasure. Sneak in. Go. Right. Let's get out of here. Absolute ninja.
Lafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Hello? Welcome back. I got the holotype. The gun runners detected an intruder roaming around, so they'll likely be aware of the theft soon enough. This unfortunate circumstance will prevent us from immediately using their blueprints to manufacture weapons. A pity. Bye. Bit of debt collected. <laughs> Hello, is it you? Santiago, yep. Yeah. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. You owe that guy a bunch of caps. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a free side VIP. Santiago is dead if he doesn't cough up what he owes the Garrets. Sir, Santiago does not know what he has done to offend, but he can explain everything. Liar, pick up, pay up. Santiago is offended that you would opine such slander. I won't ask again, Santiago. Ow! Okay, here! Take the caps, just don't hurt Santiago again. See you later. Bye. Wasn't so hard, was it? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Where is Mick and Ralph's? Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Speaking to me. You want someone dead? Really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means. Seriously.
We can now start a gunfight. And there's the last person. Hey. Lady Jane. Hello. Lovely to meet you. I was hired by the guys to track you down. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? Jane, I can tell you're lying through your teeth. Damn! I didn't want to hand over all of my caps because I won't have enough to get home to California. Here, take it all. I'll find my way home one way or another. I have a high perception. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? How's business? We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. Do you have any work you need done? We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay your finder's fees. What sort of proclivities are we talking about? Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker, someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. If you ever run across a sex bot, not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. I expect hundred caps minimum for each candidate I bring in. Just don't rough up the merchandise before delivery. You break it, you bought it. I'll see what I can do. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. Goodbye. Yep. Hey. How about you? Welcome back. What can I get you? I think I have all the depths collected. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, You'll be paid very well. I'm supposed to get to the strip. See the king. I'm sure he could work something out to get you in. You'll need to prove you're worth his time, but it'll be well worth it. I have some other business to handle, maybe later. Just bring back his hat if you decide to take care of him for us. He stole 2,000 caps. I doubt much of that'll be on him if you find him. If you kill him, keep whatever's on him, and I'll reward you for his hat. Mm, goodbye. Yep. Right.
look who's back. If you want to see the king, you better pay up. Is 500 caps enough? Whoa. I mean, yeah. Well, that should do. The king will see you now. Head on through. He's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. You're the king. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? I was hoping you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what. You do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'm listening. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? No, I must have missed them. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Sure. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. G.I. Blues. Maybe it's one way ticket to get in that passport. That's all I care about. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. I don't even care about other people's Nick side quests. I'm doing it because I want to get in that place. The strip. You want to travel to Freeside with ease, you hire a king. We're everywhere, and no one messes with us. Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. Sounds good to me. Great. As long as you're in Freeside, I'll be hanging out by side. It'll be a blast. But I'm only sticking around as long as you're in Freeside. You leave, and you'll find me gone as well. So where to? If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. How much for your services? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Okay, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Uh to your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Watch out! Don't let them scare you. Come to Mick and Ralph's for you all your shots. Down to the right here is Watch the fun out. part of town. You haven't seen Freesock till you've been to the Wrangler. Oh. Jeez. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Oh, one shot. 
one shot, one kill. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Hey, you only fired three shots and there are four guys there. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Or you just fake this whole thing to drum up repeat business. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. After you. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Hmm. You see now as well. Well, here we are. I trust you'll keep your mouth shut about the topic we were just discussing, or else. Up. What do you have for me? Oh, this is a fraud. He fakes attacks on his clients and then pay, plays hero. So that's how it happens. Okay, then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. I'll head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Oh!